Five, 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 give me five dollars. Five bucks. Give me three bucks. I got three dollars, give me four. I have three dollars, give me four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine? I have an eight dollar, give me nine. Nine dollars. I'm ready for nine. It's all going to be free. So last weekend, the Michigan Cichlid Association had their biannual auction. This was the first auction in Metro Detroit since the pandemic. It was definitely a lot of fun to get back out there, bid on some fish, and bring some new fish back to the fish tank barn. So let's go ahead, dive into the barn, and let me show you what I picked up at the Michigan Cichlid Association auction. The first fish I'd like to show you are the Parasipochromus nigropinus blue neon chituta. Pretty excited to get these fish from the auction since I found them pretty hard to find. I currently have them in this 40 gallon breeder with a group of Ultra Lampologus Sumbu Shell, and so far all of them are getting along nicely. These fish are fairly hardy and have similar care requirements to the Cipochromus cousins. In the wild, you can find these fish in Lake Tanganyika in Africa, where they occur in large schools. Like the Cipochromus, the males will be much more colorful, with the females being a more drab gray color. Getting to be about four and a half inches long, this fish is not a finicky eater, taking a wide variety of appropriately sized foods, from live, frozen, pellets, and anything in between. I would just make sure to add some protein to their diet, since in the wild, they'll eat zooplankton and other small microorganisms. These fish are peaceful and will get along with other peaceful Tanganyikan cichlids like Julia Chromis and Shell Dwellers in an appropriately set up tank. I'm really looking forward to getting these fish breeding and getting some out to some of my fellow fish keepers. So let's take a look at this 75 gallon tank, which is home to the Cipochromis microlepidotus that I picked up at the auction. This is a fish I've not seen in person before or at an auction, so it's definitely one I'm really excited to have now here in the fish tank barn. This group of six resides in this tank with a group of Julitochromis dickfeldi that I moved from a temporary 20 gallon aquarium that I had upstairs. These fish have very similar requirements to the other Cipochromis species that I keep with harder water and not aggressive Lake Tanganyikan tank mates. These fish will get four to four and a half inches long, so they'll be just fine in the 75 gallon tank. And so far, everyone is getting along nicely and I'm not seeing any aggression between the Microlepidotus and the Julies. So I'm definitely hoping to get fry from both species of fish. I also did pick up another group of Cipochromis at the auction, the Cipochromis leptosoma blue flash. If you can't tell, I happen to love Cipochromis and couldn't pass up these fish. This now makes three separate groups of Cipochromis leptosoma that I have here in the fish tank barn. The person selling these fish had 12 of them in the bag, which I thought was quite nice since I could purchase an entire ready made colony. One of my major complaints in auctions is when people bag one to two fish in a bag for species that are schooling fish. I've seen this done a lot with species like Trophius. I have this group of 12 here in this 55 gallon tank and they seem to be fitting in and settling in quite nicely. A few weeks before the auction, there was a local swap here as well. While I really didn't spend that much time there, I did find this breeding pair of Odessa barbs, which I have in this 29 gallon tank, which I'm working towards turning into a breeding tank. I really want to get the bottom of this tank carpeted out so the eggs can hide and avoid being eaten by the parents. The plan is to have the fry eat on any of the balm that ends up at the bottom of the tank, but I still do have some work to do on this tank, getting it set up, getting the plants grown in, and getting everything going. Now, I really do enjoy the start coloration of both the males and the females, with the males being black and red, and with the females being silver and red. I will update the progress on this project as time goes on. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of the new fish that I picked up at the Cichlid Association auction. Like I said in the open, it was definitely a lot of fun to go to the auction, bid on the fish again, and kind of get out of the house for a little bit. So that being said, I definitely would appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and hit that subscription button, 
ding the notification bell. And like always, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.